What is going on, Lucy fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk to you about the SEC investigation and when we potentially could hear the results from that. I also want to talk on what Lucy has been up to and how they potentially might get in trouble for something. I'm going to elaborate on that as well. Before I do, making sure you guys hit the thumbs up and subscribe is always greatly appreciated. With that said, let's get right to it. So in case you don't know anything about the SEC investigation, basically on December the 6th, it was announced that SEC sent a subpoena to Lucid. So in general, that caused a huge sell-off. And even looking at the intraday chart right here on December the 6th, it was a crazy volatile day. I believe it was almost at its peak, down 15 percent so it was a very very big day largely because of what was promised to the pipe investors so initially the pipe investors were under the impression that when they were getting in on lucid that they were going to do 6,000 vehicles in 2021 and that they were going to start production in the spring of 2021 obviously we all know it was the fall of 2021 and they only did 125 vehicles at the stage of most likely when this sec investigation got prompted we didn't know anything about the production I think the mere fact of them cutting the production down as much as they did to 577 and also pushing it back to the fall, I think that's what prompted this whole investigation. So basically the SEC did actually go out to Lucid and require and requested documentation, such as for instance, did they ever intend on doing deliveries starting in spring of 2021? Did they have ever the capability of doing 6,000 vehicles in 2021? If there is those documents out there, then unfortunately Lucid might be in a little bit more of a, a situation, sticky situation if you wanna call it that. But in the grand scheme of things, so we might be actually hearing from them very soon because typically SEC investigations only take between 12 to 18 months and this is the whole steps right here. So it all does start right here with the informal SEC investigation, moves on to reviewing available data, interviewing witnesses, requesting and reviewing additional information and documentation, evaluating potential allegations, negotiation with the target's defense counsel, that's probably not really relevant in this case, determining the next steps, formal SEC investigation, and then this is where Lucid got hit with the subpoena. So issuance of SEC subpoenas. And you can see it's pretty much near the tail end for the most part. So again, it's one of those things that we will be hearing from them very soon, whether it's a good thing, bad thing. Unfortunately, from what I've read and done my due diligence on, keep in mind though, I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that. So do your own due diligence at the end of the day. But based on at the end of a SEC investigation, they never say Lucid is not at fault. They'll just say they didn't find anything. So in general, that might be very good, especially if that does come out to be very true that Lucid is uh, free and clear, then theoretically we should go up in price pretty significantly. Because like I said, when this did come out, we went down roughly about 15%. It was a very big blow. And unfortunately, during the same time frame, Jim Cramer did come out saying that both Rivian and Lucid were basically scams and just overinflated and things like that. So in general, this is what prompted and killed the momentum for Lucid which is very unfortunate but again it is what it is I'm not here to discuss that right now but I do want to talk on potential new news that did come out I just want to say as well I'm a very big lucid fan very big bull I know long-term loose is going to do a lot of good things just on this channel I like to give you the good the bad and the ugly and sometimes the ugly is ugly and as well I just wanted to theoretically say when it comes down to rumors I know it's a rumor and what a rumor entails obviously it could be potentially not true but Oddly enough, when it comes down to Lucid and its rumors, usually nine times out of 10, they actually oddly are accurate. Um, obviously we find out months later that they're accurate, but still it is what it is. But getting right to it though, hopefully you guys can see this and most of the comments as of now have been deleted, but you can see right here, this was done three months ago. They do talk on hypothetically about the shutdown between this time frame, which does actually turn out to be accurate as we found out during the Q2 earnings. Lucid Insider did actually post about this as well. He got a lot of hate on that. But in general, though, it did turn out to be very accurate. But I spoke with a friend who's in upper management, and he said we're probably going to ship out 5,000 vehicles by the end of the year. So I think this whole criteria, 
So if upper management is saying that, hopefully there's not documentation floating around, especially three months ago, that they could only do 5,000 vehicles. We all know based on their Q2 earnings, they did cut it down to six to 7,000, which caused a lot of fear, a lot of investors to get out, a lot of investors just not to be happy at all about that. So this is where I'm getting to that potentially Lucid could be in trouble once again, um, because obviously this is what basically prompted the first SEC investigation is that potentially they knew information and possibly again could be said that they misled investors because if they knew roughly about three months ago and they're clearly upper management is sharing it maybe it might have been even earlier prior than that that they knew they had no opportunity to actually get to that stage that they couldn't ever do between the 12 to 14 thousand which was already reduced from 20 thousand so it's one of those things that this is a little bit more of a touchy subject is production production has always been lucid's kryptonite it just they suck at it as of right now um, hopefully they do get better but again this might cause a little bit of backlash and potentially depending on who is the obviously investor or who got damaged possibly there might be another lawsuit or potentially a sec investigation which coming from an investor standpoint is the last thing that we need to hear or even see uh, especially considering given all the circumstances it just sucks and obviously like i said these are hypothetically just rumors but i just want to show you this this was done four months ago they do clarify saying that there's going to be a blue sapphire color um obviously this is a painter so they definitely do know a lot of valid information well before anything because i don't think anyone out there knew anything about the uh, sapphire um, unless you're uh, obviously a lucid employee or something like that so the fact that someone is referring to a blue sapphire color well before uh, obviously four months ago definitely does show like i said there is a lot of rumors out there the majority of them turn out to be very accurate so again let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below especially considering if they knew that long ago that they could only do roughly about 5,000 vehicles which 5,000 in general is still below the six to seven and based on this so this was posted by lucid insider bears workshop obviously has done a phenomenal job of showing us obviously all the flyovers and things like that there is a significant amount of new vehicles coming around and rotation over the coming weeks and and obviously months that we've gone through but still I think a lot of people are now under the impression that even 5,000 or 6 to 7,000 might not be attainable obviously they have reiterated several different times that hypothetically the tail end 2022 is when they're really going to ramp up production but Unfortunately, based on all the flyovers recently, it doesn't appear uh, to be accurate. So again, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. But outside of all this though, there's a couple points that I just wanted to share with you from the Q2 earnings that have never really rubbed me the right way. So looking here, so this is obviously Peter Rawlinson talking, just basically him not really giving us production, weekly production goals, I should say. So I'm so sorry, I don't think it's wise to me to give you weekly production rate right now. This is obviously right after him just saying that six to 7,000 is going to be uh, the new production 2022 goals. So in general, I didn't really like that. Like you have to be realistic. And a lot of people are saying that hypothetically, yeah, it could be twisted saying, yeah, you know what? They found what the flaw was, they're fixing it and things like that. Keep in mind when the earnings came out, we are officially in Q3. So them saying within their earnings that it's still not fixed, that means Q3 and numbers might actually be skewed as well and still be affected by the issue that they encountered in Q1. And a lot of people seem to not really read into it as much as myself. Maybe I'm just an overanalyzer, I'm not really sure. But it does say, but I do believe that we've identified the primary bottlenecks and have already taken the steps to begin the remedy the situation. Nowhere in the actual earnings or does he say that we fixed it. He says that we found it and that we're working to begin to remedy the situation. So once again, by no means, even by the time of the earnings, which I believe was on August the 3rd, they did not say that it's fixed. So I guess that's something that we just need to factor in as far as investors. And this is why I always make sure you guys do your own due diligence. Like I said, I'm not here to spread any FUD or anything like that. Just like to give you the facts and how I interpret things, especially considering based on this, if it does hold out to be accurate that they only intended on doing 5,000 vehicles by the end of the year, definitely that's going to rub a lot of investors the wrong way. So overall, let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments below. With all that, I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe is always greatly appreciated. And with all that said, I appreciate you guys watching and let's all make a lot of money on Lucid.